Hey all, Wild for Games here, your Streamlab advisor to help you with everything Streamlabs. And in today's video, I get to share with you a little sneak peek at the new overhaul coming out to Streamlabs OBS. Let's go. So there are some exciting changes coming to Streamlabs OBS and lucky for me, I got a sneak peek and I get to share it with you to show all of the changes that will be coming out and they will be coming out in the next few weeks. In fact, you have probably start to notice a few changes already on the platform already. So let me give you a nice little teaser of what's to come so that way when they come out, you're ready to rock and roll with it. The first change you're gonna notice is the combining of the editor and live. Currently in Streamlabs OBS, when a user goes live, they will automatically be brought to the live tab. However, Streamlabs noticed that a lot of users tend to stay on the editor tab Thus, they combined it into one section, so that way it'll be an easier flow for all streamers out there. Those tabs were so common, it just made sense to bring them together anyways. The combining of editor and live tab has a combination of elements that prioritizes both a large preview and chat. Now there will also be a mini feed that displays the recent events of the most current two to three events. This change basically just eliminates redundancy and creates a better cleanup so that way all streamers out there like you have a better flow when using Streamlabs OBS. Another change that you'll notice is the rotation of the navbar from a horizontal to a left hand side vertical navbar. Based on user feedback, this was to organize the content based on what is important to a streamer. It also better utilizes the space within Streamlabs OBS itself. For example, all the apps now live in a drawer underneath the App Store icon. The navigation tabs and system icons are now fully utilized. Basically, there is no more wasted space in Streamlabs OBS. If you're not sure what icon is what within Streamlabs OBS, simply putting your cursor hovering over the icon will reveal what it is. If you need any more help or want to learn more about the changes that are coming to Streamlabs OBS, make sure you do me a favor and visit the link down below that will take you to the blog that will explain all more about these changes. Now, like I said, this is just a small little teaser secret that I get to share with you. There's a few other minor changes that are coming out and a few other changes that Streamlabs expects to give out to you later in the month of August, which is when they expect to share this with everyone out there. So make sure you follow them on Twitter so you know when it goes live. The reason all these changes are coming to Streamlabs OBS is because they love to listen to your feedback. So if you have any questions or concerns or ideas that you would love to give to Streamlabs, don't be afraid to reach out to them because they love working with streamers. It's really cool that Streamlabs is making all these changes. And if you need any more help with Streamlabs or Streamlabs OBS, guess what? I got you covered on that. I've done a lot of great videos for Streamlabs. So I'm gonna put a video over here to the side that's gonna help you out using Streamlabs OBS and the Streamlabs platform. I recommend taking a look at that video right after this one. Once again, my name is Wild for Games and I will see you all in the next Streamlabs video coming out real soon. Take care all and peace.